Welcome back to the channel and you're here with the Fuller Fanatic and I've recently uploaded a video about flipper knives being drop shut and after receiving many comments as well as messages from subscribers and Facebook peers asking in my opinion what is one of if not the best drop shut folder that doesn't break the bank. To be honest I believe the Avant by CRKT is a great and recommendable candidate. Now let's go through some of the stats to give a better in hand perspective. The overall weight is 5.4 ounces and it's a big burly and hefty pocket knife. There is no milling done to the steel frame and the backspacer is also very very heavy. The overall length of the Avant is 7.5 inches. The handle is 4.3 hundredths of an inch with G10 scales and a layer of weaved carbon fiber on the top. The blade is 3.18 hundredths of an inch and CRKT used 8CR14 MOV steel on this build. The drop point set and finish blade reminds me of the Hinderer slicer grind. With a blade thickness of 0.14 of an inch, the Avant's crown spine is a nice touch and definitely complements the flow lines created by the thumb disc. This gives the Avant a multitude of deployment options between the disc and the tab. Now let's get on to the reason you all clicked on this video and that's the Avant's action, which it is on the ball bearings. Ironically, I believe it to be the same bearing system that's on the large pillar. By this, I mean there are washers inside the inner scales held by a milled section. The bearings ride along these washers. As for the cage bearings themselves, they are held in with an additional nylon spacer that surrounds the bearing. All of this sandwiched between the blade stock and frame. And I said ironically because the large Pilar's action bears no resemblance to the Avance. Although I've opened up, thoroughly cleaned out all moving parts, polished the washers with 200 grit sandpaper, lubed and tuned my detent to my liking on the Avant. I do that to all my knives, including my Pilar. Still, there is no comparison. The drop shut action isn't surely because of a top heavy blade, which sometimes can be the case, but yet a smooth and slow retraction from a nearly frictionless tune. Just enough resistance from the detent to not have the unforgiving guillotine drop, but that hydraulic feel that I love on my knives. The thumb disc adds to the layer of awesome features on the Avant. Whether slow roll, flicked, or deployed with just the fatty part of your finger, the Avant is highly responsive. The sound emitted on deployment is very loud. I believe due to the steel on steel blade and frame, leaving no space for the lockup audible to be absorbed or muffled. The flipper tab reacts in the same fashion on deployments, with the main difference being force and recoil. The thumb disc deployments are a bit more smooth and controlled. The flipper tab tends to build up a lot of energy before the break. So the Avant speed on the flipper deployment is impressive. This action would be great to see on some of my $150, $200 knives. But to find this on a $55 CRKT knife is awesome. Now at that price, it does have its shortcomings. With the cheap carbon fiber stickers over G10, the 8CR14 MOV steel, no need to indulge on that, and the dump truck heavy frame with matching heavy as shit backspacer. Then there's the locking system which many say there isn't a lot of space to disengage. The area is restrictive, so I reduce some of the scale and steel area for relief. If you're the type of person that doesn't mind making a few minor alterations to compensate for some production faults, this could be the perfect budget knife for you. I believe the pros outweigh the cons, and after a little bit of work, they're non-existent. So to answer the question asked, I believe the Avant to be one of the best budget flippers that really have that drop shut action. And that's as long as you can stomach that 8CR14 MOV steel. Now let me know what you think about the Avant by CRKT. And if you have one, is your action the same or close to? And did you make any adjustments to the knife to get it there? Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.